Greetings and welcome to the broadcast. I'm your host. We have a $74 cell phone that came our way here at the McIsen Craft Studio. Someone actually dropped one of these off for us to test. I may end up having to go back. Who knows? I've heard a lot about this phone. Right off the bat, you take it out, and I like to put them in natural sunlight before we take them apart and test them, which we'll do in just a moment. And when the, this is unbelievable, the phone shut off. It's dead. When you pull the stylus out, it starts writing right away. I mean, this thing is just right out of the box. Uh, hard to believe. Now, when you go real fast, uh, you can actually overload this thing when you change the color palette. So I'll demonstrate that here. But I was very impressed with this. Right, great for taking out real fast. It won't hurt it. When you go up and change colors to the color palette and go fast, it'll overload it, as you're going to see right here. Whoops, won't work. What do you do? Wait for two seconds, thousand one, thousand two. Start again. It'll reset itself, and you're good to go. Also, there's a little built-in eraser. I know I'm kind of getting away from the unboxing here, but. You know, when so you see something this right off the bat, again, from a dead shut-off position, this was a little bit impressive for a phone under 100 bucks. All right, so you take a look at it, and what do you got? It's smooth around the sides. Overall, what we call initial impressions is okay. It, I mean, it doesn't really jump out. Uh, you know, it's smooth, kind of well-made. To me, it looks nice. A lot of guys are slamming this online. I put it in my pocket. It felt good, it, you know, a little bit here. Now, of course, we've got to do the specs. God help us if we don't. LG Stylo 2. It's got the Android 6.0 Marshmallow operating system. 5.7 HD with the IPS display. has good side-to-side -side, uh, resolution. A 13-megapixel uh, camera in the rear. It's not that good, folks, just so you know. 5 megapixels in the front. It's not that good, folks, just so you know. But for the money, it is. Uh, the 3G, uh, 4G, LT, and the Enhanced. 2 gigs of RAM. Oh, and 16 gigs of ROM. The 3,000 milliamp battery, so far so good. Uh, now this will take up to 125 uh, gig uh, micro SD card. Now look at this thing here. When you take the battery, I'm going to get that battery here. See this, this strip to the right? That's like an antenna in intensifier, that blue tape. I've never seen that before. This has four poles on it. One of those poles in the battery is dedicated to thermal, thermally taking care of the battery. So that's a good sign in a, in a cheaper phone like this. Uh, let's just get, now this is like saran wrap. Gee, don't call this a cover. You drop it and I'll, watch this. I'll drop it. It'll almost cling to this thing. Isn't that something? Really light. Anyhow, here's a picture of that. I mean, I put my fingers all over this. This is so flush. When I turned this phone over and I laid it flat, uh, it didn't rock back and forth. By the way, let me finish real quick here. So I got the 1.2 uh, gigahertz Qualcomm processor. Okay, we're done with that. Now, I like to give a little flex test to these things sometimes to make sure they're solid. You know, we can look at it like this to just let you drink it in. The speaker was not that good, but for a $100 sub phone it is. I don't throw the pictures away like that. I take one picture from the enclosed stuff and look at it. Here it is. It's a pretty nice little DeFont sharp in it. It's got a picture. It's relevant. You might, somebody could use this in a pinch just to see, hey, where's, for instance, where's the proximity sensor? So a lot of, every YouTuber likes to throw these away. I just like to take just one page, not go through the whole, you know, list ad nauseum, but just take a look at it. So here we are. When I put my fingers up here, it wasn't, it didn't feel right, honestly. There was almost no depression on here to get the click. It, I just couldn't get her going. Uh, at night, I could not feel what was right. Was this the up volume up? Is this a volume down? Is this the on off switch? There's not a lot here, folks. But for under 100 bucks, you can you can learn to like it if you know what I mean. Uh, the light flash on it is not not so much. It's it, it's kind of okay, uh, not a lot. Speaker iffy. In fact, it was tinny. I noticed on the setup it says oh the flex not bad. See that? I don't flex them a lot. Just if they feel crackly, I'll tell you that I felt for every bit for 100 bucks good. Now the accessories you get a data cable and it doubles as a charging cable. They've got one neat feature on this. Now, remember the last time we were together, we checked these phones a while back? This thing wouldn't even go in all the way. It would, that's on a other YouTube here at the, at the site. This one went in all the way, and it felt good. It snapped in with an authoritative click and all that. But here you can see this has a, a detent with the LG logo. You can do this in the middle of the night and have it always line up. You put your thumb on the LG part. I wish they all had this. And then there's three little mouse's tails. See them right there, those three little mouse tail pips? You put your thumb on that, and that way you won't, you, in the middle of the night, you can always make it click in. You won't ever have to turn it around again. It's a nice little branding touch. You don't see something like that all the time. But, you know, hey, way to go, LG. It's innovative and real quality. Now, there's a little bit of seam there, but again, for the money. 
Now, as I use this a little bit, yeah, the fingerprints get on it, that's, that happens. The camera was, is, is a, it's not so very good. It's just marginal. It would, it would never, oh, to bring it up awake, you just tap it twice, and tap it twice, it goes to sleep. That's, tap once, up it goes. See the center of that? It has that dirty brown ring in the center? That comes up all the time. Not always, just a lot. Not even on some of the pictures. Now, to test the screen, I downloaded a Takarta Bible. They have pretty sharp font for a free deal. And it works flawlessly. It's zipped up and down. So I'm going to blow it up a little bit. You'll see it start to blow out. Not too much lens flare, but we'll start getting pixelation right about there. The pixelation starts. And then the blowing out starts about there. That, for a $100 camera, is good. Now, here's a test I like to perform. I like to take a flashlight and turn it on and face it into a bright window to test the autofocusing capabilities of a phone like this. And then I'll, I'll show you how we're going to do it. It's going to confuse you at first, but just think it through. This is the real phone that we did it to. I got a lot of flashlight on, and I'm trying to make it focus on the side of the little red flashlight that right there. And so to give the, chan the phone a test, I hold it out the window, let it recalibrate itself, and you'll see right here the results may surprise you. Okay, ready? Let's get ready to test this thing. Our goal is to focus on that ink. It's rounded, and there's two sources of light to fool the sensor. Hold it out the window, let it flush the sensor, okay. come back, 1001, 1002, and that is not bad for a cheap phone. Once again, out, flush the sensor, 1001, 1002. Man, I, I give that high marks for a cheap phone. That son of a gun was, was focusing. Here's the one other one I like to do is take a picture of some glass, check for lens flare. You can a little bit of spherical aberrations, not so much. This did a good job on the glass. The, the camera held up very, very well for that. And uh, you can see here, each person is kind of in the eye of the beholder. We're running short of time here, folks. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to hurry up a little bit and get you out of here. Uh, so overall, worth the money, yes, but you would never trust this camera for a photographic assignment if you had to go and take a picture of 150 stamps or some rare books or something. Hey, let's do a little focus experiment on the quarter like we used to do, one of the other ones we used to test years ago. I took this quarter right here, and under ideal conditions, I blew it up this big. That's not bad for 100 bucks, man. That is not, but it, it could be, but that's terrible for a 13 megapixel pixel camera in a regular. Oh, we're out of time. Regular phone. Folks, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Hey, Lord bless all of you. Peace to every one of you. I'm going to go ahead and have to leave now. Uh, just wrapping up final thoughts. Give this thing about uh, a B minus for performance and a B plus for, for all the features it has. Okay, until next time, McIsencraft out.